Tells me all about this, uh, this treasure. Did you hear something? Hey, yeah. Jeez. I'm scared. Yeah. Must be the boo bear. <laughs> <laughs> you started to tell me about the lake. You say it has no bottom? Well, not in the middle. Or at least we haven't found it yet. me when I'm in the water. You too. Hmm. Well, at least somebody believes me. Hey, wait a minute. I never said that. Believe what? That there's something about this lake. Such as? I don't know. But I can feel it. There. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I'm not worried. It's just that I feel something. You do too. See that? Oh, it must be a big fish. You said there's some big ones in here. Sure. Maybe it's a muskie. Hey, what the hell is this shit? I'm taking off. I'm getting my leg fixed, and I ain't never coming back to this fucking place. I'm here. Hey, sorry, sweetheart. Just having a little fun. Wasn't trying to scare you. Who the hell are you? Name's Mike. Just out for a little bass fishing. But you don't look like any bass to me. <laughs> hey, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Hey, listen, we're camped right across the lake. Stop by sometime, why don't you? Show you a good time. <laughs> You about talk? Why, well, I only talk to him and my friends. You, you, you don't look like any one of them. My name is Eleanor Hatley, and I'm staying with John Morgan. You staying with John? Oh, you as one? Well, no. You see, my niece and I are camping at his place. I'm a paleontologist, and I'm... A what? A paleontologist. Oh, I'm doing research here on the island. No. Well, what do you want to talk to me for? Well... A colleague of mine, a man by the name of Sorensen, was out here in a canoe, and John thought that perhaps you had seen him. I've seen him. I've seen him, all right. With it. He ain't gonna help you none. No. Well, what do you mean? Well, he's... he's gone. He's gone. And he ain't nothing gonna help him. No, no. And, and you know what? You, you better... you better get... You and, and uh, that other woman uh, off in this island. Uh, if all you, you know what's good for you. Now, you better get. Do it as fast as you can. He'd talk to you, wouldn't he, Kelly? He might. <laughs> Another big one today. Ain't fished yet. Oh. Here you go, huh? Charlie, there's something strange going on. Know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You, you're the only one what's got sense enough to believe in Charlie. Me and the frogs, they know. They know. You never told me the whole legend. Well, a long time ago, there was a time years and years ago when the engines that lived around here was having a mighty poor time of it because they, they couldn't couldn't catch their game nor fish no, no. well go on charlie go on well one day there was two engine braves fishing a stream near here and one of them looks down and he sees this yellow pebble which looks different than the other ones and he picks it up and he looks at it it's heavier and feels different. Well, he takes this pebble, puts it in his pouch, and and Plum forgets all about it. What was it? Well, I'm, really? I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Well, one day, this angel, he, he come to this lake, and he reaches into his pouch where he get that yellow pebble which is he Plum forgot about. And, and for no reason, he takes it and he throws it in the lake. Then what happened? Oh, then almighty hell broke loose. The water swirled and it bubbled and out of the center of it come up this creature. Creature? Well, yeah. you know, half man, half frog, ugly, half, I don't know what. What happened then? Well, that engine brave that threw that heavy little pebble in the lake, well, he run back through the woods to go back to his camp. And a strange thing happened. Right in front of him was this big buck deer. Didn't move, didn't do nothing. Didn't run? No. Nothing? Nope. The, the engine that got his Tommy Hawk and fell that deer and dragged him back to camp. Bet they all ain't good that night. Yeah, and when, when that engine told his story, Guess what? I know, I know. All them engine braids went down to the stream to find heavy yellow pebbles and threw them in the lake. Yeah, that's right. And the legend claims that that 
This whole island was full of game and fish. They, they worship that creature. And, and they give him a name. A name? What was it? Rana. Rana. They called him Rana. The legend claims he never dies. Never dies? Wow. That's right, Kelly. That's right. That's right. Those pebbles. Them just ordinary old pebbles? No. Gold. Gold nuggets. Gold it was. That was the first time old Charlie ever told me the whole story. I told my father I found Dr. Sorensen's diary. You hear him leave? Sorensen kept a diary? We mm. ain't going nowhere like without Mike. Is that about all I can take out of you? Okay. I'm gonna get him. This time I'm gonna get that bastard. Loggers and Charlie seem to be at it again. Does he ever stop antagonizing them? Well, there's no law against shooting around here, but it does bother me when it's that close. John, John, I didn't aim to hurt nobody. Oh, my God, what happened? The loggers. We got to get them back to the shack. I'm hurt bad, John. Charlie. The gold. That's, that's what. The frog people always protect it. They've always protected it. Them frogs. Get, get away from the lake. Get away from the island. I chased the old guy once when he was shooting at us, but uh, that's how I got the bum leg. <coughs> 